The last piece that we're going to remove in this video is the floppy disk drive. All right. So we have a little plastic heat sink down here, and uh, if we take a look, we actually have a hidden screw back there. So we have one, two, three, four that we need to remove. All right. Thankfully, we have a nice screw hole right here that we should be able to sneak right in and grab the screw. There we go. Sorry for the shaking, just hit my stand. Right. Oh, oh, that's still there. It's more difficult than it looks. It's a lot more difficult than it looks. Oh, there we go, we got the screw. Cool, we got lucky for that. Oh, sorry for hitting that again. This one will just sneak around it. Got it. We have these two screws up here. I can definitely feel it giving way to the floppy drive, so that kind of leaned forward. All right, let's lean it forward and see what we got. Should be able to lift this up and pull it out. There we go. And we're going to pull a data cable with it, but that's okay. Okay, if you want to take a look at this. Made in Singapore. That's interesting. All right, taking a look. Just a normal floppy disk drive. All right. Uh, I actually have a floppy disk stuck in it. Oh, well, that's interesting. Okay, I wonder what's on this. We'll have to take a look at it another time. But it's your standard floppy disk drive, so nothing too important of that. All right, last thing that we can take a look at, just because we can see the exposure of it, is I'm going to turn it so we get a side view, and we can get a vet better view of the insides. So I'm going to pick up the phone, and we're going to take a look. We can get really close in there to see what this stuff looks like. Alright, so that is the disassembly, or at least as far as I'm going to go, for a Macintosh Classic 2. Thanks for watching.